Welcome back to our special Veterans Day coverage coming to you live from Grafenwehr, Germany, inside the tent as we celebrate with the U.S. Army at the largest training command outside of the United States. The German and American flags are whipping in tandem in the wind as a Bavarian winter has arrived in all of her glory. Wind chill temperatures in the teens, winds up to 60 miles an hour, and just before the weather hit, well, the tug of war came down to the 2nd Striker Cavalry Regiment and the hard-charging 172nd Separate Infantry Brigade, taking them down in mere moments, defeating the 2SCR twice to win the event. And so, after five events, it doesn't get much closer. This is David and Goliath stuff we have going on here. The 18th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion continues to lead. Again, these are the supply and maintenance guys. They allow the other guys in front, the 172nd Separate Infantry Brigade, to do their job. They are the largest brigade here in Europe. So again, a very huge, huge unit and a big finale. Let's go to Josh on the parade field. Apparently drawing the short straw. Again, you're right, Hannah. We have seen it all today, and it now all comes down to this as we once again welcome Sergeant Aaron Beckman has been with us all day. And Sergeant, this is now essentially a home team versus home team finale. The winner today will take it all. That's right. We've got two great outstanding organizations out here taking it to the home team. See who takes us and wins overall. It's going to be very interesting here. It's the equipment transfer relay, and it truly is the guys in the back and the guys up front, the 18 CSSB staffed with supporting uh, regiments like the 172nd, but now they get up here to the forefront. Can they fend off the hard charging 172nd? Let's find out. Again, they're going to load up this Humvee, push it across the finish line. First across that finish line is our champion. Away we go. Yeah! All right, so what exactly are they looking to do here right off the right off the start? The best thing is try to get that equipment as close to the truck as possible so they don't have so far to carry it to get it in there and load it up. So they're taking half the team to move the equipment across the obstacle. The other half is loading up the truck and getting ready to push that bad boy forward. Again, you said essentially whoever can get that truck started first is probably going to be our winner. Exactly. The first two teams that came through here, they had problems getting the truck moving. Once the truck was rolling, that was the team that was usually the one that won. And again, this weather, is it going to make it hard to move the truck, the winds, and now a, a slick surface? Oh, after the other teams came out here, beat up the ground a little bit, it's getting a little soft. You know, we're looking at the fourth quarter, ready to take it all the way in for that final score. We'll see how it works out. Again, a wind chill really down in the 20s. It's hard to know how long, how much this long day is taken out of these soldiers. They are looking gassed. Yep, it looks like uh, the 172nd's got all their equipment across the obstacle. All they got to do is top off that truck and start pushing. The 18th on the left of your screen, the 172nd on the right of your screen. Again, it looks like the 172nd's got their Humvee started, and they may take it home. That's right. They got a good truck length on them, taking it down the home stretch. They only got about another 10 meters, 5 meters, and they're done. But 18th is catching them. 18th is closing the gap. But it does look like it is, in fact, all over. We have a champion by less then one length of one Humvee. That champion, the 172nd, again, in a home team versus home team matchup. Well, your future home, the 172nd, taking it. What really got it done there in the end? Well, right there towards the end, you saw they got the truck moving. Once they got that truck moving, they were able to roll it across the finish line and, and take it all the way through the end. All right, again, uh, we have a champion, and well, we've had a champion out here with us all day today. Uh, Sergeant Aaron Beckman, he is a former NCO. Officer of the Year, uh, we couldn't have done it without you. We hope you had a good time. We hope we haven't frozen you solid. No, not a problem. Just want to thank all those veterans out there serving today who are going to serve and who have served for our great uh, country and our armed forces. All right, he can now uh, drop the hat of objectivity. You go celebrate with your future mates. Thank you very much. That's going to do it for us here from the parade field. We have a Warrior Challenge champion. The trophy will be awarded when we get back here to Grafenwehr, Germany.